Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4, and uh, this time I'm over here in Good Neighbor, and I thought it was probably time I go and meet McCready and get him into my party. Uh, so a few episodes back, I met huh? up with Kate and got her in my party, and I, uh, Ever been to kill or be, killed? be quiet guys. And I kind of skipped through the, uh, the raising of the affinity and stuff to get to the point with the dialogue and the quests she had. So I think I'm going to kind of do the same thing with McCready here, because... There's a few places I've been avoiding going because I hadn't had McCready in my party yet. Uh, and his quests will bring us to some of those places like Quincy and uh, MedTech and a few other places. So anyways, let's uh, wait, wait, wait. see McCready. So like I said in the episode with Kate, there tends to only be a few companions that uh, are really compatible for me to have with me and kind of ambiently, naturally uh, unlock dialogue with for the kind of playthrough I'm doing. McCready, uh, is kind of tough to get to a high affinity level at a certain point. No, have I, uh... Says newcomers are. Did I get the... the magazines in here? No. Oh. Bingo. So anyways, I do not want to miss out on the quest he has, though, so, uh... Yeah, we'll go meet McCready and go through his line of dialogue and quests and all that stuff. Now there's mods on here that change Good Neighbor and the Third Rail, if you can't tell. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? Nice helmet. Like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. Alright, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Alright. So yeah, there's, uh, I mean, you can look up guides about how to get McCready's affinity raised, things he likes and stuff. There's a few quests that I'll do that I don't need his dialogue to unlock that will help with that. So we'll actually go head off to do one of those right now, if I can remember where it is. There's one I don't believe I've done yet that I can find on the road towards Quincy. I'll want to take a little bit of care to skirt around it though skirt around quincy because the quest will lead us down there don't want to go into the uh, proper town quincy just quite yet it's full of gunners Let's get it on. So what I'm looking for, 
can't remember exactly where it is. All I know is it's on the road south out of Boston towards Quincy. So I'll let you know when I find it. Oh, here we are. Is someone there? I can hear you. Get me out of this thing. Is someone in there? Let me out. I'll open the door for you. Yes. I can't wait to get out. Uh, I think it's stuck. You might have to shoot it off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? So, what's the story with you and that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out, but there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. There better be some gold at the end of this rainbow if you catch my meaning. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Yeah, you told me. It's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Okay. <clears throat> so, let me just change weapons real quick. Alright, so I don't want to go into Quincy straight away. There is another location on the way here, just right here. Might as well pick up. Are you going to follow me, dumbass? Come on. It's the biggest problem with having followers that aren't companions. Come on. Oh, fireworks. Oh. Damn it. That's how we do things around here. Should be more, right? The highway is totally wrecked. So we'll check it out while we're here. Ooh. Can't remember if there's anything of interest in here or not. I think there might be a little bit of a... Nice. There's a terminal. I saw... Yeah, there he is. I think we should probably just have the chat with this guy real quick. Cute kid. Is he for sale? What? Never! Yeah! Your loss. You change your mind, bring him to my camp. Right. We'll kill him later, don't worry about it. <clears throat> For now, let's see what's on this terminal since we're here. Ooh. Personal terminal. From the desk of Charles Dieter Jr., the silence before the storm. To my wife Carol and my darling daughters, you are the source of my inspiration. Um. Chapter 1, Dead of Night. As the captain steered the ship, he... That's it? Nothing else? Didn't get far, did he? Alright, journal entries. A few days, well, this is all the days leading up to the bombs. October 19th. My argument with Carol delayed my arrival, but I got a pretty good view of the sunset from the road. Getting the generator and lamps going in the dark was a real pain. I guess city life has made me soft. Don't remember my old man ever having to sit up in the pitch black, but then again, I can't recall mom ever delaying the trip ever. But what are you going to do, huh? 
First year in the old cabin alone. The silence is just what I need. This kind of solitary should leave me free to work on my novel that's been kicking around in my head all these years. Gonna grab some shut eye and I'll get started in the morning. Rose earlier than expected to the sounds of construction work. Seems they've begun work on a rock quarry up the road since they're since coming here last year. No matter, just a bump in the road. I can work through it. Sure Steinbacking Hemingway didn't work in total silence. Surely I can work this into the narrative somehow, given give the main character an edge. Yeah, that's the ticket. God damn it, what kind of sweatshop are they running over there? They work into the late hours of night. I can't escape their constant hammering and digging. When I get back to the city, I'm going to lodge a formal complaint. There's no way those are union hours. I can hear it now. Maybe if you were a better writer, you could work through it. Well, Carol, this is nothing compared to your banshee whales. <laughs> if I can ignore your constant nagging, I can work through this. Back to the book. I'll deal with the quarry morons later. <laughs> Ralph something ski. That was the foreman's name. I'm writing it here for my formal complaint. Something Polish. It yelled right in my face and told me to get out of his. I hope the asshole falls into the quarry. I hope all of them do. Then maybe I can get some peace and quiet around here. Can't get it at home, that's for sure. Spent some time shooting cans off the picnic tables, then started taking out some of the crabs scurrying around the river. If I had a son, I could teach him how to, sh how to shoot just like Dad taught me. Instead, I only got daughters. Not good for anything, are you, Carol? Dear God, they're at it again. Jesus, I can't stand this racket. I remember this, uh, I remember this now. I think if you go over to the actual Quincy Quarry, you can find, like, uh, his corpse. Like, he went over and, like, shot up the quarry or something like that. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. Get out of the way, Billy. I think that's how it went. Because I, yeah. It's been a while since I explored this location, but... I think that's the story. Nothing I love more than standing out in the open, waiting to get shot. You too, buddy. Oh, I'd love to see the ads for this place. Quiet, cozy cabin, the lakeside view, and in-room miler service. You should make yourself Don't useful there. Get the oh. Don't them hurt me. That's what I call a confirmed kill. Oh yeah. Don't them hurt me. There you go. Okay, so we want to cut around Quincy. So we'll head around left here. I still really need to go meet them, too. Forgot about that. Still a lot I haven't got to. Oh, random minute, man. Thanks, Bats. You're always there when I need you. Just going, giving it a wide berth because I don't want to aggro the entire town there. And I also don't want to have to just sneak everywhere. Pretty close. Here we are. Do I have a better gun I can bust down for this part? Um, I really ought to go get my Mark 14 again. Oh, it level up too. Ah, what was I working on? Eh, let's finish Snake. Why not? I don't really use it much, but. Same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. The turret back there is really breaking the immersion. You guys, it's been so long. Thank yes. You for bringing 
us back our little boy. You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give them a peaceful life, or die trying to save them. That's the man that tried to buy me. Oh my god, they want Billy. They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. Over my dead body. These people are under my protection. I'll wear your eyeballs around my neck! <laughs> okay, buddy. Tell that to my Gauss rifle. A few more. Oh, shit. What the hell? rifle solves all problems hey there thank you for bringing us back our little boy and saving us from that man I'm glad we found you here take this I wish I had more to give you but we don't have much this completes kid in the fridge this is one of the quests that will help with uh, McCready's affinity there's some ways to um I mean, you can look up guides about it, but there's some ways you can cheese it out too and get uh, to higher tiers faster and all that good stuff. Uh, but we're going to take some shortcuts because I don't want to spend the next 10 hours trying to get affinity from him. So yeah, let you know once we're uh, elsewhere with McCready. I mean, kind of generally doing positive things, especially if they're for profit. And, uh, he especially likes it when you steal things. So there's a few instances... Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. What makes you say that? Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Setting up shop? What do you mean? I needed somewhere to hang out so that people could find me when they required my services. The folks in Good Neighbor tended to not ask too many questions, which suited my needs. So, I made a deal with Hancock and started waiting for the caps to roll in. Caps aren't worth risking your life. Easy for you to say. Right now, I need every cap I can get. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm going to be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. How many caps do you need? I'm not sure. Honestly, that's not even what concerns me the most. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. Yeah, sure. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this... Head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. <clears throat> so for those of you unfamiliar with McCready's story, 
He's actually, it was a character in Fallout 3. He was a, a kid, the leader of the Lamplight Caverns, which was like a refuge just for kids. It's one of the places you went through to get to Vault 87. So that's what he's talking about. Anyways, I think I'm going to go back up to Sanctuary and get into my gun stash and give him something better than that rifle. And I might change out a few things myself. I'm over here. So we'll head up there in a minute. Head down there in a minute. Alright, so I gave Sir McCready a Barrett, <laughs> a 50 cal sniper, so he should be good. I went and got my Mark 14 also. Well, a different one, because I couldn't find the one I had. Anyways, let's uh, head off towards Mass Pike Interchange then. And go after these gunners. Oh, right, there's a power armor. Over in that warehouse, I forgot to get a few episodes back. Come back for that. Power armor. I think it's just the frame with a couple pieces, but... I still like to pick those up when I come across them. Should be a lift over here where we can get up. Shouldn't have to snipe them all from below. Been a while since I've been down into this area, the Commonwealth, though. Oh, we got a checkpoint here, too. God damn it, Vance. Thanks a lot. Oh, it did hit it. It was just lagging, of course. Gotta love it. Trying to remember where... How to get up here. Should be one of those little lifts. Where is it? There it is. Problem is getting McCready to get on the damn thing. Come on, dude. Get on the lift. Hey. What's up? No, 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 no. Come on. Heads up. Well? Over here. All right. There we go. All right. Um. Still need to go up. I think. Maybe not, actually. Come on, McCready. Long way, bro. Shooting it down there. The threat's over here. Oh. Hello. I love this Mark 14. It's like my problem solver. The hell is McCready at? There's more of them. Well, I'm not going to need that stuff anymore. Maybe there's a power armor frame over here. Also, bye, Barnes. Hmm. 
wasn't interested in talking to him. Oh shit. Hats, I swear. One of these days, I'm gonna hit what I'm aiming at. I swear. He's in armor. He was in armor. Well, there is some hostiles below us. Still one more. Oh, turret. There we go. Hello, McCready. T60 pieces. Sure, what the hell's going on below us? Come on to the place a little bit since we're here. Be bugs or something down there. Oh, I think maybe if you get over here fast enough, you can get uh, the frame. I can't really remember. Take that. But whatever, it's all right. Got the pieces. All right. Come here, McCready. Let's have a chat. Away from these alleged hostiles. Heads up. Yeah, what is it? Damn it! Stop moving. Hold up a second. Gunners have this place locked down pretty tight. Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. For the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. And they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides. They have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. You don't owe me. You clearly needed the help. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. Tell you what. I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but... Now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. <clears throat> All right. We are indeed done here. Okay. Oh, I still haven't been over here, huh? All right, well, that's the first tier of what he wants to do for his quests. So I'll move on, and I'll catch back up with you guys once he uh, has got something else he wants. So, you impressed yet? Oh, well, hold on, buddy. <laughs> So Grey Garden was under attack for a while, and I decided to come over here. See if they still need help, but the funny thing is you just show up and the turrets take care of it for you. My extremely overpowered institute turrets. That's why I put them there, though. I still need to work on Grey Garden. All I did was give them the initial setup. It's just, all right, now we can talk with Critty. Look alive. Need some? So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Makes sense, I suppose. Nothing makes sense anymore. You just roll with the punches. Anyway, 
When I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you've earned it. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Right, anyways. <clears throat> no quests from that little part. I guess uh, it's been a while since I've had McCready follow me around, so I kind of forgot at what tiers uh, he wants you to go help him with stuff. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll catch back up with the, with the next uh, dialogue event. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. We're friends. No thanks necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day, he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next, he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. You see, I guess I'm remembering wrong, because I thought that McCready, uh... <coughs> pardon me, I thought his quest took you through Quincy. But, uh, I guess not. Go straight to MedTech. So, alright. We will go up to MedTech. I still haven't gotten to, uh, explore around Malden. We'll do that a separate time. For now, we'll just go to MedTech. And, uh... Hmm, where's a good place to go from? Let's go from... Taffington, I guess. D do you got a Geiger counter, bub? What the hell? What are you doing here? Mine is in the shop. Your HQ's new guy, right? Oh, th thanks for setting up this place. Oh, right. I wish you would have set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah, this place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall I was at. It was literally a, a hole in the wall. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. 
Got a new guy, new tourist that's gonna help. He, he, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. Uh, okay. If it'll help a synth, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against, uh, but I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then Kate's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. Right, I forgot uh, about this quest. Vault Tech office. I wanted to go visit Vault Tech sometime. Uh, so we'll do that. Just not right now. Speaking of quests. Okay. A minute. Yo. Actually. Alright, let's go to Medtech. I remember when I first went through this game, I went into the med tech facility and I got irritated as hell because I could not figure out how to get into the sub levels. Finally met McCready and got through his stuff, which took me forever to do without intervening. Finally got to go in there. Taffington is another settlement that I've set up. Just barely. Just enough to keep him safe and keep him happy. Haven't really done anything with it yet. So I do plan on going through all of Malden sometime. But just not right now. For now we're just gonna... I mean I'm gonna explore all of MedTech when we're in here. Since there will be no real reason for me to come back later. But the rest of the town we're going to leave B for now. Oh, that's West Everett. Let's not go over there yet. Super mutants. Don't want to trigger that entire town. it on one leg. Oh. Whoa. I think some things are loading in. The grass kind of disappeared on my way over here. Alright. Not so fast, McCready. We're going to explore the place while we're here. Bunch of them. Oh. I see. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> oh. Threat. <coughs> reload, damn it. Thanks. I really needed to see that reload in the vats. I guess there's not really anything up here, is there? And it's been a long time since the episode where I did the- or episodes where I did Automatron. It was like number 20 or something. Long time. This playthrough has been going on for a while. It didn't go on- it hasn't been going on- going on as long as like New Vegas or something. But, uh, a while, nonetheless. Changed a lot over- the course of since I started recording it, a lot of things have. Well, the mods are not quite so much, just the visual stuff, but, I mean, recording quality, ENB, mic quality, a lot of things changed. Well, 
It's going to be going on for a while. <laughs> okay, I always tend to get kind of lost in places like this, but we're going to do our damnedest not to. Where the f hell is McCready? Damn it, Mc there you are. <laughs> All right, let's find that executive terminal. Yeah, yeah. Claire said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. Sure, but we're gonna look at everything else too, buddy. Security alerts. Got. Administration is initiated at a containment lockdown. Um. Okay. What else, really? Same thing, huh? Same thing? Probably wouldn't make sense to people who just play games and don't record them, but uh, sometimes there's those days where you, you sit down and you want to record and play something and everything that can possibly go wrong and interrupt you, bother you, and irritate you all happens at the same time. Not talking about people sending me Steam messages either, just... Never mind. Let's just lost my train of thought here. Carry on. The only thing that hasn't happened yet is my game hasn't crashed, so knock on wood. Fallout 4 is usually pretty good for me, compared to 3 in New Vegas when you mod it, as far as crashing. Sometimes with all the mods I have, it'll crash when I start it up. Like, it'll, it'll crash on the menu like three or four times in a row for some reason, then it'll be fine. Won't have any issues the rest of the time I'm This is the way... Am I missing something back here in the main lobby? I feel like I am. Oh right, I gotta turn off the lockdown. Did I even... Elevator isn't functioning, right? What in the hell am I missing? Ah. That would be it. Seven caps. You can have three and a half. Okay. You're a little confused there by the cubicles, McCready. What the heck happened in here? The place is trashed. Apocalypse happened, McCready. Where you been? This room. Oh, okay. Not the office I'm looking for. Check the terminal on the desk over there. 
Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. There we go. Thanks, bro. Alert override. System alerts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nuclear activity alert. And there we go. While oh, we're here, though, hold on. Thank God that worked. Yeah, yeah. I want to read what's on the terminal, though, so just a minute. Sales report summaries. Pentats and fixer, huh? Search report summaries. Okay, this is nothing real important. On their way down to the sub level. That's where medtech should be storing the cure. Thing. Um. Shortcut. All right. Do it. Got here. Oh. Wait. Come on, terminal. Got it. Uh, must be a turn around. Oh, fine. Oh, I've got quite a collection of drugs back in Sanctuary, so I don't use them in the game. I've just been uh, keeping them to sell whenever I actually remember to do that. Jesus. I are quick sometimes. Don't know what happened to McCready. Seems to have fallen behind again. Oh, never mind. All them drugs, son. Place up. documents too. Speaking of things I haven't keep forgetting to do, I haven't talked to the Brotherhood in quite a while because I've been putting off the main story for so long. I haven't gotten to the Institute yet. I think maybe I ought to do that sometime here. Oops. whoops. Been what? 60? This is like episode 66? 7? I don't remember. It's been long enough. I'm not really paying attention to this. So there we go. There we go. I don't know if there's any reason to actually unlock these, other than an experience for hacking. Doesn't look like there is, no. Maybe to get these guys out of their prison, put them out of their misery. I know I say this every time, every episode basically, where I hack a terminal, but 
Yes, I know the legitimate way to hack these, but I prefer the Fallout 3 method of just three random tries. Carry on. Nice. Because sometimes you get lucky instead of removing all those duds and stuff. There you go. You're welcome. It's not locked. hate how a terminal sometimes sees up, like I can't exit it right now. There we go. You're welcome. How did you have ammo on you? Alright, McGritty. Get your ass over here, stop fucking around. First one's down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we get the heck out of here. Oh boy. Frag him. Oh. Ammo and dog food. That's what he was having for lunch. Love that RNG. Did he just try to intimidate a turret? If there's anything particularly interesting in any of these either other than the dead the undead be able to open them up though uh let's open those up turn off any other turrets that are around and turn on the protect protectron. Be free, buddy. Don't worry about that cell in a minute. No! Don't kill protectron. Oh, it's a legendary guardian one. He's going to be fun. Got it. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait a minute. Covenant security helmet. I don't have one of those. What the hell is that doing here? Covenant, there's another place I've been avoiding. What's up, bro? Oh, right. Uh, can't drop through. Trying to remember how the hell I get in there. there has to be something worth a few caps in here. Through a cell. It's been a while. It's been into med tech. Gotta be down here, right? Not that way. Way I'm missing. Can't get through here. There we go. Ah, uh, wasn't a cell or bathroom alongside the cell. Hey, boys.
Okay, let's go check up here real quick. Anything worth uh, seeing? This might be the way. Don't make me poke mm. all this garbage. Okay. Onwards. Almost there. More accessible places in the sub level than there is in the main building. Was it shooting at? That's one. Anything that moves is the answer. I'm trying to avoid taking trash legendary items like that. Okay. Had a habit of doing in the past. some free stuff lying around. What the stencil vault 76. I head around all this science stuff. Yeah, all this science stuff. So, as you can see, MedTech was doing some uh pretty shifty crap down here, as you would expect about of about any company in the uh, pre-war American era. Light universe. In fact, <clears throat> pardon me, if I can remember the in I can't really remember the entire story, but I'm pretty sure it's really fucked up. Uh, I'm trying to remember, I, I remember seeing Oxhorn's video on the place. I haven't actually seen any terminals to come across to read about what they were doing, but you can see, <laughs> you can kind of imagine what they were doing. From what you can see here. Maybe I'll run into one further along. I've been keeping an eye out for him because I try to keep an eye out for lore and stuff. I haven't noticed any. Anyways. Talk to McCready. Look alive. Need something? Here you go, we McCready. It. Holy crap, we actually did it! We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. All I care about is curing your son. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. All right. Get out of here. Bye bye, MedTech. It's been, uh, fun. Come on, man. All right, whatever. Ha ha ha, sucker. Oh boy. You gotta love Fallout. Ah, fantastic. Always something. All right, let's just talk to Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rexford. You have a creedy. Come on, man. This is your deal. Get your ass over here. I 
like how he's just. Hey, doing. What do come here. Want? Move here. Easy. Dumbass. He's sitting out there for. Excuse me. McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? No. How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Your buddy McCready's got a rep here in good neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the quest for McCready. Can't remember if maybe he want. I'm gonna. We're gonna unlock the next tree of dialogue, and we'll see if there's anything else. My light, man. <laughs> Fuck you, say to me. Anyways, we'll ca I'll catch back up with you once we're uh, there. Heard you were in a shootout. Never been. To I think we need to talk. What's on your mind? This has been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. Uh, <clears throat> Solider? Not soldier? Anyways, why is it invisible? Okay. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. Means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth that I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Sure, but get up off my shoulder, bro. Hey, man. Only best friends can share feelings like that with each other. And I aim to keep it that way. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? There we go. Kill shots perk. Right. I'm in Boston Common. I forget what that perk does. Let's uh let's see here. Kill shot. Ooh, headshot accuracy increase. Nice. Very cool. 
That's definitely useful. All right, well, this one's been going on for a while, so I, I figure I'll stop here. I think maybe since I have McCready with me, uh, I, I could have sworn we were gonna go through Quincy, but we didn't. So maybe next episode I'll bring him with me and we'll go slaughter some gunners down in, uh, in Quincy or something. But that will do it for now, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.